The Lagos State Governor, Babajide Somulu, has suspended the reopening of churches and mosques indefinitely. The governor made the announcement on Tuesday afternoon. He said the decision was informed by the increase in cases in Lagos. I want to inform you that we will not be proceeding with the opening of the places of worship as instead earlier for the 19th and 21st. We will be suspending it until further notice. If critically had to have a thorough, thorough, thorough review of where we are as a state and our condition, uh, our, our, our review indicates that we needed to suspend that attempt of opening. Joining us now is Reverend Yomi Kasali, the senior pastor, founding of Truth Assembly. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you. Well, What's your reaction to the decision of the governor now not to go ahead with the reopening of churches? It's welcome. It's a very good development. I totally support it. Uh, a few of our key church leaders will be meeting the Pentecostals and the Orthodox Church. We were meeting secretly in the last couple of days before the governor uh, announced it. And uh, we totally support it. We, some of us independently, had made that decision not to open our own churches. Uh, last week, we, we made that decision not to open our churches for worship because we believe in church government and civil government. And so a few other churches, of course, church leaders, also made that decision before the government, um, because the governor uh, informed and directed the same. So it's a beautiful welcome idea. The pandemic is terrible out there. The numbers are rising. It's, it's not something that's a joke. Uh, we think that we love our people. We want them to be safe. Uh, we think that this is the best way to go for Lagos and Lagosians. I totally support it. The church leaders support it. It's a welcome idea and development. The uh, governor Pastor, has taken the right but, decision. But you will agree that there are many churches that are ready. They appear ready and willing, and they've organized themselves to follow the guidelines that has been outlined to keep people safe. <clears throat> what becomes of them now that they have heard the governor say what he said? No, the, the, the truth is the guidelines are a bit difficult to follow. If you observe the last couple of days, some church leaders have made their views known about that uh, the guidelines, and we have tens of thousands of churches in Lagos. Um, the bigger churches are fewer. There are less than 10% of the churches that have numbers above 2,000 and above. Um, however, we have many more churches and less than 100, 200, 150. It's a bit difficult to coordinate. Many churches do not even have their own buildings. So how do you, and then we're going to interface with people that live in homes. So it's something that we thought that um, it's, um, the government took the right decision. The church, as it in my opinion, uh, been able to fulfill all the guidelines. Some of us complained. We just thought we would comply the best possible we could. Uh, but in terms of compliance, strict adherence, it's not as uh, we, all, we all want you to believe. However, it's more than just the compliance. It's more of the safety of lives. So if you consider the fact that the numbers are rising, the church might likely spike it more. And if that happens, the government will be blamed for anything that happens. So I think the legacy government has done the right thing. A few churches would, of course, disagree with us. I, I totally support what the government has done. And a few of my colleagues, both in the Orthodox Methodist Baptist and the Pentecostal fold, Truly agree, okay, agree with I would what, like what you to is. speak on concerns expressed also. Uh, there is this argument that if the government can open the markets, including the small ones, um, people can gather at least minimum of 10, 20 at a time with social distancing and all of that. Um, what, when will be the right time for churches to now open, considering that we're not seeing a reduction in the number of cases, rather it's on, it's on the increase and the markets are still open. I totally agree with that argument, and I think the governor and the government should take the next bold decision, which is to shut down the markets as well. You see, I, I, I have to be honest with you, the church is a first step, it's a bold step, and the mosques, I beg your pardon, is a bold step. I think the governor and the government of Lagos should be bold again to make the right decision, which is to also shut down the markets or agree that only the markets that are 
coordinated and have coordinated capacity and guidelines should be open. Don't forget right now, the markets are open every other day. And secondly, the question has always been between the food to keep your body alive and the food to keep your soul alive, which of the two is more important? The first one is my opinion, the government's prerogative. So that's why they opened the church, I mean, the, the markets, I beg your pardon, to make sure that people can survive, can eat. A dead man cannot worship God. So let's start by saying, let them live by bread first. But we say they can't live by bread alone. Jesus said a man shall not live by bread alone, not a bread at all. So the government has said, let them live by bread. However, I would adjudge, adjudge the government to please take a bolder step to regulate the way the markets are open, to regulate the way the offices are open, to regulate the way economies have been thrown open. What they've right, done Pastor. is to throw the economy open. All right, Pastor, uh, one quick thought. If you can m make this in 30 seconds, we'll really appreciate it. Um, a word to those who are watching, especially Christians, who are concerned about the fact that they've been unable uh, to go to church. And, of course, our Muslim brothers and sisters who are concerned that they've not been able to go to the mosque on Fridays. What, what I would say to our brothers and sisters is this. A few pastors have also condemned the government and a few pastors like us. That, that support the government in not opening the church early. The Bible says, have thou faith, have it to yourself. Faith is personal, not general. Now, I have faith. You, are, you have bigger faith than me. What I would suggest is you pray for me to have bigger faith like you. So I will ask our brothers and sisters to continue to pray. Um, God is not in buildings. God is in us. That's what the Bible tells us, that we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So we don't need buildings to worship God, but we need regulations, no regulations to worship God. The last few weeks, our worship has been increasing. Prayer lives has been increasing. We've, meet, we've met on Zoom. We've met online. I don't think the church has stopped worship. They've only stopped worship in buildings. So our brothers and sisters should be a bit more patient. God loves people. If we say we love souls, then we should love people. Safety right, of lives and property is a prerogative of government. And the church support them. So my brothers and sisters out there, hold on, hang in there. Another two, three, four, five weeks, we'll open up the churches again. I will be able to congregate as before. Right, Let's Pastor. hang in there. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for your insights on the news this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.